What's up, Legends Joshua, and welcome back to another episode of the Team of the Year sort of videos. Um, I'm just, you know, I've already done one video on the Team of the Year stuff that I needed to talk about, you know, the market crash and uh, all the details to, you know, make sure you guys don't lose coins. But I've actually made a little bit of a list on uh, sort of like secondary things that people were asking me in the comments that I couldn't really answer to everybody. So uh, I'll, I'll be, you know, sort of informing you guys on all of the things that I know about Team of the Year. And I'll, I'll also show you my 11 Team of the Year prediction. A, a lot of people have. Ask, uh, a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter uh, who will be in the team of the year for you know uh, 2014 or 2013 of course because it will be the year for 2013 but it will be in 2014. Um, but if you guys are looking to buy some coins, check the link in the description for the game keys. You can, I think they're selling for about seven pound now, so they've gone down a little bit. So that's awesome. Uh, if you use the code JG94, that's five percent off. And uh, you can also buy PC games, uh, PC, uh, well, yeah, PC games, uh, Xbox Live, uh, Microsoft points, PSN cards. Link to that will be in the description. So let's get straight into this video and let's talk about Team of the Year. Of course, it's on the 13th of January where the Ballon d'Or will be announced for the like the 11 players that will be in the Team of the Year of FIFA 14. So. Uh, that is where you know the thing comes from. I think there's a whole like live stream of it, and uh, where there's like an award ceremony. I think there is every year. Um, you'll see it on Twitter if you're active on Twitter. You, you'll see people linking it all over the place. Um, but that will happen on the 13th of January, and uh, of course that will win. That that should probably be when the team of the year comes out. So uh, that's the date, and that is next week because it's the sixth today. So seven days from now, it will be. Um, it will be team of the year, so we'll uh, we'll be able to open packs and hopefully get one in a pack. So um, a lot of people have been asking me to say, you know, like certain players, like should I sell this guy? Should I sell this guy? And like I've been, I've probably had about a hundred to one hundred and fifty comments of that on, you know, on on the comment section down below or even on Twitter, people sending me, you know, should I be selling this player? Should I be selling that player? And the question is, is like, if you don't feel confident that your player will stay in that price, like in that price region, if you think he's going to go down, you have to sell him because you will lose coins if you don't. Like, if you're looking at my team now, Eto costs like 28,000 coins, like probably about two months ago I bought this team. I can tell you now, I'm actually going to check how much, pr what price Eto will be, but I can tell you it should be a little bit cheaper because, um, People are, are aware of the, the market crash and people are already starting to sell their players so you must start selling your players now. It, you know, it is pretty much already very, very late towards uh, selling your players but if you don't want to lose as much, um, let's see how much Eto is going for. Let's see how much he's crashed already. So 22,000 coins. He's gone down 6,000 coins in probably about... Uh, two months which is uh, I guess that's pretty bad but obviously uh, there's still like seven days to go some people don't even know about team of the year that's coming on the 13th of January and when they do they will you know they'll be missed uh, their players will be uh, reduced in coins by a lot and they're gonna lose a lot of coins so as you can see there he's gone down like 5,000 6,000 coins and he's gonna go down even more and I'm telling you this because I want you guys to avoid you know losing coins on the team of the year uh, FIFA 14 so um, that's pretty much why I'm telling you you know like there's no point in asking me whether he will go down or not if you just don't if you if, if he's over like I'd probably say if he's over 10k he's probably going to drop to about 4k or 6k people's prices just go they plummet to the ground so so much like last year Ibrahim, Ibrahimovic was like 1.5 mil, 1.6 mil, and uh, after team, well like yeah after the or during team of the year he was about eight, eight, like 800, 900k, so that's like a huge, huge price drop, and nobody wants to lose that amount of coins because that is worth, uh, you know, a lot of coins in real life or a lot of pounds in real life. Um, so that's what I'm t telling you guys, you know, about players uh, you should be selling or shouldn't be selling. Um, you should buy players back, like, um, after everybody's been in, like, if after all of the cards are in Team of the Years, or, like, after, uh, you know, after they're all in packs, make sure you buy your players back, because that is when they'll be there at their all-time low. And then after after the Team of the Year, it'll take a few weeks to get back to, like, normal prices, and maybe even, the pr like, the players' prices won't even be as much as they were. I think, like, Eto, say I bought him for 28k, say he drops to, like, 12k, I think he'll stay at about 18 to 20k for a little while, because that is just how long it takes to you know get players prices back into form and uh, it will take a while but if you're looking to buy like uh, not even if you're looking to buy um but if you're looking to like make profit then uh, that will be like your best option if you want to like sell a team now buy it back d during everybody in team of the year so uh, i think that's probably your best option and uh but like 
when you should sell players for profit because a lot of people actually tend to like sort of buy um, Ibrahimovic's for like during team of the year or like you, when everybody's in in the packs they can buy like any players that they want and then hopefully they will go up after a few weeks because obviously there won't be well there won't be as much demand for them so uh, their players prices are going to rise again so if you bought like an Ibrahimovic for 800k during team of the year and then it goes up after like two or three weeks then obviously you are going to make a lot a lot of coins so like buying players should be you should be buying like the cheapest players around when the players uh, when the when the team of the year players are in packs and uh, you will be you should be absolutely loaded if you buy like loads of loads of certain players like if you have loads of coins I would buy loads of Ibrahimovic's in my opinion and uh, I'll probably buy one or two because I can tell you now they will rise for about 300 400k at least and you'll be rolling in the dosh so um that's what I mean like I've just guess I've just uh, talked about everything that uh, I needed to talk about and then I guess I should show you my 11 team of the year prediction so this would be my FIFA 14 team of the year prediction and uh, you'll probably see an image on screen now I'm actually looking at the team of the year and uh, that is what I've gone for I mean it's very very similar to what everybody else has gone for like Anna and Rai, Atani etc um, but everybody seemed to have the same you know prediction because these are the like the 11 that stand out I guess you know Ronaldo Messi of course always in every pretty much every team of the year and probably will be until they retire um, Ibrahimovic has just been banging them in loads and the rest of them of course you know uh, warrant their spot in there quite easily and uh, let me know your you know team of the year if, uh, t let me know your team of the year uh, for FIFA 14 because uh, if you know I, I'm pretty sure everybody will think it's probably about the same as what I've done um, but some may disagree and some may agree so let me know if uh, you know I, I think a lot of people will say Suarez but uh, knowing EA I think they'll just stick to Ronaldo, Messi and Ibrahimovic like they probably will for like the next coming years but um, who knows maybe some more BPL players will uh, come into action in the upcoming years for team of the year so uh, quite looking forward to new team of the years and I'm quite looking forward to this one so uh, I'll be opening loads of packs and and if you want to, you know, sort of stay around in my channel, do be sure to click that subscribe button. And apart from that, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rating. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter, Ashgabon4. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.